My name is Raleigh Jones. I'm the Assistant Principal at American Leadership Academy Ironwood in Queen Creek. And I am nominating Cindy Carlton, a music teacher for us at ALA. She uh, is a traveling music teacher at three of our campuses to teach fifth and sixth graders band, choir, and orchestra. She had a lot of students who struggled financially and just thought, I'm never going to be able to play an instrument. And um, I'm not aware of one kid who, who felt that way that didn't walk away with an instrument. She uh, was able to, to do some fundraising to get some. She borrowed some. She rebuilt or, or refurbished instruments on her own. Uh, she would rewrite music so that way it would incorporate instruments they could afford. Several students wanted to play violin or a saxophone but didn't have one, had a guitar at house or one they could borrow and she would rewrite the music to fit whatever it was they had. So every kid knew the, the great lengths that she went to to make sure that no matter what happened they would be able to be included as well. She got a celebrity violinist, the man who invented the electric violin, to come and do uh, a uh, workshop with the kids throughout the day and they worked on movement and singing and uh, performance and showmanship all in a rock concert setting and uh, we had this concert in March of 2022 last year and uh, it was a sold out crowd it was a, a great fundraiser for us but more than anything it, it's an experience that all of those kids are going to remember being right up there you know in a real rock concert setting. Cindy has made a huge impact on students lives they're coming to her several times a week. They're getting some time out of their elementary, uh, some of the other classes that they have. And she has that time to give them individual attention. As if holding a life-changing rock concert wasn't enough, uh, she also became a published author this year. Uh, she's been collecting stories throughout her career of incidences where lives of children were changed through music and their experience with it. Probably the best way to describe her is that uh, she has big dreams and it doesn't matter what obstacle gets in her way she's going to find a way to make her her dreams a reality I nominated Kathy Cluck because I think she's an incredible educator. I think that she has a passion that is infectious. She cares about her students. She cares about the content. She's taken a program um, that was originally kind of a smaller program. She's our ASL teacher. And she's built that into a program where students want to be in that class. They want to learn ASL, uh, not just as beginners, but as intermediate or even expert level. She's been with ALA probably about four years. Um, she started out as uh, an aide for a student at one of our elementaries, and then gradually worked her way up into teaching that program at our high school. Spending just a few moments talking with her, her passion, her energy, it, it's infectious. It catches you. And if you go in and observe her in a classroom, you'll see a, a different kind of learning. You'll see students that are actively engaged, yet silent. And that is such a rare opportunity to see that. You can go in her classroom, you can hear a pin drop. But everybody is doing exactly what they're supposed to. It's, a, it's something you don't see in other classes. She is a member of the deaf community as well, so she's, she brings that into her classroom. It's not just that she's a teacher that knows the language, that's part of her identity. Uh, and she helps students to see that it's not a disability, it's just a different way of communicating. I, I think that as a teacher, as an educator, working with Kathy, it makes me um, immediately more aware of myself and, and making sure that, that I'm communicating with her in a clear way, that, that way we can understand each other. Uh, when we develop that ability to clone people, uh, I'm signing her up to be one of the first in line because I, I wish that we had more opportunities for our students to learn ASL from such a passionate and compassionate teacher.
who, who embodies that, that wonderful idea that we're all part of the same big family, even though we might be a little bit different, and that's okay. I nominated Kyle Spiller. He's been a teacher for 10 years, a theater teacher. There's a ton of reasons, that's like a, a big question. Um, I don't think I've, and I've worked, after high school I worked in the school system and I loved it and I've seen a lot of teachers and I've obviously had a lot of teachers throughout um, my time as a student and a college student, but I don't think I've ever seen a teacher as dedicated and willing to provide for his students and do whatever it takes for them to succeed like I have. The commitment that he brings to us and that he teaches us, um, it's unlike any other teacher I've ever seen. When he came and he showed us competitions that we could go for and possible careers that we could take from it, I think that's when everyone started to take it seriously. My first year of theater competition, we did not do very good. but. We went from never competing in our life for anything like this to competing in the big games for Arizona Theater for high school. My second year in the program, we won state champions. So going from the year prior to doing terrible to winning the next year, that was like one of the biggest accomplishments. The impact he's made is, you can't measure it. We call ourselves misfits and it's just meaning like, you know like the old Christmas um, movie, like like the Misfit Land and the Misfit Toys and all that stuff. It's just saying that no matter what background you're from, what ethnicity, um, your sexuality, no matter what, once you get into this black box, once you become this theater, we will never judge you. We will accept you for who we are and we will love you for who you are. And so that's why we call each other like the Misfits. He's just one that accepts all and loves everybody no matter what. The most important thing that he's ever taught me, and I still say to myself this day, is you always need to walk in with confidence and walk out with confidence.